What is very interesting about this site is that there's no uh, mythological creatures, there's no hybrids. Every single one is an animal that actually exists. If you look at this pillar right here, you can see uh, a pretty famous depiction of uh, one of the foxes. If you look at this pillar in the back, there's uh, five cranes on the top of it and uh, two wild boars. That is a leopard. It's one of the few that is uh, sort of a 3D relief, one that fully comes off of the side of the pillar. There are almost no human figures found here, but two of the suggestions of human figures are actually on these two large pillars in the center of this enclosure. You can see the uh, hands that are wrapped around the front of the stone, as well as the continuation of the belt and the loincloth that hangs down the front. It's also amazing to stand here and try and absorb how big these pillars truly are. The technical skill and manpower needed to move and erect these stones is just astonishing. It really proves that these people were highly sophisticated and worked together to produce something that it has withstood the test of time unlike any other ancient site in the world.